of 2021. 2021. Let's go. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having a great new year so far. I feel like honestly all of us were really excited to see 2020 come to close, start fresh with a brand new year, and I know I'm feeling all the productive good, like New Year's goals, vibes, you know, like it's just a good time. So that being said, we're really hoping to post more on YouTube. I say that quite a bit, but for real, like guys, we have a posting schedule and everything now. So you're gonna expect new videos from us on Mondays and Thursdays of every single week. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I feel like if I have a schedule, I will like 100% do it, you know? So I just thought coming up with two days would be a little bit better just to hopefully get videos cranked out for y'all. That's something I wanted to say at the beginning of the video because I'm really excited about that. But the apartment is still kind of the same as when you guys saw it last time. I have not finished painting these tables and chairs. We're almost there, but I actually ran out of paint. And so I need to go to Lowe's today and get some more paint. And I'm hopefully going to knock out the three other chairs we have to do. And then all I have to do this week is add a clear coat on top. And then we're going to be able to like sit and eat on them. <laughs> I can't wait because right now we just cram on the couch because we took our desk to the warehouse and we can't sit on the table. So we need something. We just, we got stuff to do and stay tuned because at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how I do like my nighttime skincare routine and just like what I'm using. Just a little bit about my skincare. It's not gonna be like a full in-depth video, obviously. I can definitely film that for you guys if you want. So comment down below if you wanna see that. But yeah, I'll do like a nighttime skincare routine. Just gonna be a good video, 2021. I'm excited and I think I want to get a coffee. <laughs> so I need to get all my stuff ready. Go, I'm gonna pack my little book bag, do all the things. show you guys my outfit of the day really quick before we go this is the brandy melville t-shirt i seriously wear it all the time and it's really wrinkly because it's been in my hamper of clean clothes that i have not folded so that's why it's wrinkly and then i got this really cute like marble looking top from free people i got it on clearance for seriously nine dollars i kid you not it's kind of like one of those like sheer tops that's tight but i really like to layer those like under t-shirts and stuff and so i'm wearing that and then my urban outfitters jeans you guys know i love these ones they're just super baggy as y'all can see also a little bit wrinkly and then my air force one so that's the fit for the day let's go i'm driving because we need my car for the tables because they're big and i forgot my keys in the apartment so devin's going to get them <laughs> love you babe <laughs> just get to target get my mask don't forget to wear that you too we're done at target and we're currently mixing our drinks because recently starbucks does not mix our drinks like ever they'll be like super separated mm, it's so good needed that and we, I put like a little clip of what we got at Target, but it was kind of hard to see, but we did get our two big six foot tables from Target, so that is good. And I also got this really cute, like it's in the kids section, little shelf, and I'll show you guys when we get to the warehouse, but that was successful. Hey, little warehouse. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. My camera was dying, which is totally my bad. We kind of vlogged spontaneously today, so I did not get to charge my camera, but we're back. It is full now, so we're good to go. I have been, obviously, here in the warehouse. I've not been painting today. I still haven't finished. Let me show you guys this blue wall that I started. Like, I just still have not finished it. So I'm gonna be doing that soon, but not today, because I just have so much computer work that like has to be done. In 2021, I am just like not gonna be scared of posting whatever the heck I want to, no matter how funky and weird it is. I feel like last year, because we were like growing so much, I felt pressured to be like other businesses kind of, and like do the safe things or launch like the more safe items and like not go too crazy. But I feel like anytime I truly like go crazy and of myself it does even better like which is so funny because i feel like i always want to be like more relatable or have stuff that just kind of everyone would like to wear or whatever but the thing is is like you cannot go wrong with like bright colors positivity funky trendy things that are just like in right now and like i just want to mix fashion like my true love for just like fashion and being weird and funky with our products and like really have the shop hit different this year like i want you to go on it and be like dang this is cool you know like i just wanted to be like nothing else so really gonna try and make our instagram so much more me and our page and like the things we're selling and like our shop i only can do so much on the shop because i'm not very tech savvy so the website might not look too crazy but everything else would be really cool and 
and I just can't wait to document it all on YouTube. I'm just feeling super awakened. Like God was like, hey girl, I made you like this. You're corny for a reason. Now show, show the world, go on. So I'm like, okay. So I've been having fun doing more like collage -y type things of pictures of myself in like different ways. So I added this like cool barcode thingy and I just like the colors on here and I just literally cut out like my body and I just place it wherever I want it to go. And I feel like it just looks so cool and it's just quirky and different. And I like to use this app, Unum, or U-N-U-M, I don't really know what it's technically called, to plan my feed. And I thought like the orange of this outfit was really cool because this is obviously orange next to it. I don't love having like collage type things on top of each other, but whatever, it happened, it's all good. So that's gonna be my feed whenever I post tonight. But I'm working on new products right now. So that's partly what I've been doing. And I can show you guys what Devin is doing out there if you won't see. All right, so you guys haven't been in the warehouse in a hot minute, and you're looking at the ground right now, because when I move up, you guys are gonna have your jaw hit the floor. Ready? Look at that. Devin painted this massive wall. Dev, I just sent my mom a picture of this from like here, and she's like, wow, that is a big wall. I'm like, girl, it's even bigger, because my phone didn't capture it all. There's like still this whole front part that she didn't, she didn't even see. But yeah, it's a huge wall. It took so many cans of paint, I feel like, and Devin toughed it out, because it is not easy to roll. First off, any wall, like it just, you have to press kind of hard. And then this was like a really weird plywoody. It's this. It was literally this material, and it like soaked up the paint, and he killed it, so Devin worked on that, which is great. And then we have lots of stuff over here. This place, like the warehouse before was seriously empty, but we got some shipments in of just different things. So we have like bubble wrap, some envelopes. This is a sticker organizer thing. It's not technically for stickers, but I'm gonna try and use it for stickers. So hopefully we can build that kind of soon. Have boxes, just more shipping supplies. And then, oh my gosh, I shared these on my story yesterday. But how awesome are these canvas like roll carts? They're so cool. They're seriously massive. I checked last night on the website. You don't have to get one that's literally this big. I got huge ones and we got three of them, but we are going to be putting packages in here, your packages at the end of January, hopefully, in these little bins and I cannot wait to use them and I really want to step in them. So many people have said that I should get in it for a picture and I was like, I'm not allowed. Guys, we're <laughs> not breaking these right when we get them. I know, guys, these are $300. Yeah. Literally $300 for these carts, and we got three of them. They're not meant for people, guys. But Dev has been building shelves, as you guys can see. I built one of them. I built this one forever ago, and I built it wrong, so he had to redo it. I was about to say that. <laughs> we got some shelving. Devin's built another one. We got all these. We're probably going to need even more. Let's just say we put quite a bit of cash into this warehouse. I feel like all we've done is spend money. Like, it's kind of crazy. We go to Home Depot and we buy like all the shelving they have. It's like hundreds of dollars. So I'm like, swipe, swipe. But Dev and I are on the same page. We really are pretty cheap in like our day-to-day -day life, but we love spending money on the business. We like to make this better for you guys, for us, and it's fun. So we've kind of been just having a blast. Not really decking the place out, it's still nothing crazy, but it just felt so good to like order shipping supplies, get carts, and then we got the tables that you guys saw, I think, right here. They're not built, obviously, but that we got two six-foot tables just to start. I'm sure we're gonna need some more. And another thing I'm really, really excited about. So if you guys watched our warehouse tour, and if you didn't, you should pause this and go watch it because it will just, I kind of like talk all about the warehouse, but this whole area is going to be like hopefully a little break room type vibe. Obviously nothing too crazy and fancy, but I'm hoping just to get another table here and then we'll put like our coffee stuff. I ordered us a mini fridge. It's like a retro one. I cannot wait for it to come. All of that. And then I ordered us a rug that has not yet shipped, but I ordered two chairs to go right here, and I think they come today to the apartment. So, the day I was filming this vlog, the chairs did not come. There was, like, issues. I don't know, but we have them now as I'm editing this. So, watch your next video, and I'll show you them. They're so cute! All right, so Dev just came in the office. By the way, I was just about to start working, and he comes in, and he's like, I just built the best paper airplane. It flies across the whole warehouse. I thought of an idea of having a competition to see if I build one and he builds one, whose goes the farthest. And I have to tell you, he just did his and it was pretty good. And I don't remember how to build these, so <laughs> it could be bad. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Don't
First of all, let's just take a look at mine, right? Yeah, yours looks really good. I don't let's remember how to do that. Movies. I don't remember. All right, we'll see how it flies. It might be That's all that matters, think. you know? Yours looks That's so good. <gasps> Not too great. Mm. He just had a better throw. There it is right there. He just had a better throw a second ago. You might need another throw. No, just one. I'm nervous. Okay, seven, one. This is where she threw from, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where it went. Mine was like right at the plastic it only. Right it wasn't too good. Let me get another toss. Let me get another toss. Throw it and film. All right. Dang. Look at that, guys. Dang. Much better so toss. Good. And you were vlogging wow. at the same time. Look at that over I'm there. Hello friends. So we were halfway home and I realized I left my vlog camera at the warehouse. So we just turned around, got you guys. Hey Deb, take some scenic videos. The lighting is brightest when I hold it up to the ceiling. So what's up guys? I'm like super hungry and Devin's saying he's not that hungry so it makes di like dinner a little bit difficult this evening but i want brussels sprouts so i'm gonna start those now because that's kind of a process did not know that those were like a process but they are a process so i'm gonna start those and then maybe we're gonna do like chickpea pasta with red sauce we do that all the time when we're lazy yeah but we're gonna do all that and i'll just do time lapses of whatever the heck i'm making because i don't really know Just finished up dinner. This is what you make when you're a wife that's kind of tired and doesn't know what to make. So <laughs> we're having chickpea pasta with just a standard like red sauce. I think we got tomato basil and I added a little bit of Greek yogurt to make it a little bit more creamy and like tangy. And then we have little balsamic Brussels sprouts. We put a balsamic glaze on them and roasted them in the oven. So they look kind of burnt and maybe they are a little burnt. Like they kind of get caramelized and weird, but I will say, they shrunk up so much because the recipe I did this time, they literally, she had you put them in for so long. Whereas normally we only usually put them in for like 20 minutes and kind of steam them in a way. So they cook down a lot more than I'm used to. So I wish I had more than that, but hey. All right, so I just finished eating and it is now 8.12 and Devin is hopping in the shower. Once he's out, I will show you guys my skincare routine, kind of just take off my makeup and show you guys the products I use and hopefully it is helpful. But I'm gonna go ahead and like load up the dishwasher and like move my laundry over and just do like little house type tasks. So I'll talk to you guys when he's out and I'll show you my skincare stuff. All right, y'all, so it is now time for me to wash my face and do all my skincare for just the nighttime, and I thought I would bring you guys along because I get asked about skincare quite a bit. And just keep in mind that this is like my nighttime routine and just like the products that I like to use. But I do want to say I've been using these products for seriously probably like a year now, and my skin was pretty rough, the worst it's ever been like a year and a half ago, like for a long time. So I struggled with my skin for a while and I would say in the past year, it's cleared up basically completely. I still am human, I get pimples of course, like it's hormonal acne is totally still a thing. Like I have a little one kind of coming in and like one kind of up my eyebrow, like I just get random stuff. Um, but my skin has cleared up a lot and I just think for me, simple is better. I really like Hiram, I'm sure you guys have heard of him on YouTube. He's like a skincare YouTuber and I really trust him with a lot of the things he says with his skincare. But anyways, this is just my routine. If you want to try any of the stuff, totally should. Obviously do your research before. I'll link everything down below. I am not sponsored by any of these brands like whatsoever. So this is just purely my routine and what I do. But first things first, I always put my hair up and I use a little headband, you know, gotta keep my hair on my face. And I recently stopped using makeup wipes for a few reasons. Number one, they're just pretty wasteful. Number two, I've heard that using makeup wipes is actually like not very good for your skin because you're just like rubbing so hard. So now I like to just make sure I really wash my face super well and I like double cleanse. 
So the face wash I use to get my makeup off is this, it's wet because Tiffany just took a shower, this Paula's Choice Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser. So I just rinse my face really well with this. And a big thing for me is I try and wash my face for a long time. I don't just like put on the stuff and then I'm done. Like I really work it into my skin. So at night I use this to take off my makeup just to rinse my face one time. And then I use a more heavy duty thing just because I used to struggle with acne quite a bit and I just... I still use this. So I really like the Panoxyl um, face wash. This has benzoyl peroxide in it. It's 10%, so it's maximum strength. And I have really good luck with benzoyl peroxide. I used this when my acne was it's worse. It was super inflamed and I noticed after a bit this really really helped. I'm pretty sure of course with skin there's so many different things like hormones, food, what you're using in your hair, like everything can affect your skin. This really helped just to kind of get rid of some of my breakouts I think so I still use this as like a just cautionary you know thing that I just hopefully helps to eliminate any pimples I'm getting. So I wash my face with this first and then this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and I'll talk to you guys in a second. Okay, so I just washed my face and my eyes got really red because I got cleanser all in them, so ignore that. My face feels super clean. I'm pretty sure that gets all my makeup off. It always feels like it does. And then I want to note, I do not do this every single night, so please don't do this every single night. But I'm gonna do a face mask tonight just because it has been a hot minute since I have. So I really like this, the Ordinary AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. I'm sure you guys have seen this on TikTok. It makes your face like the mask itself is like really red. It almost looks like blood to me or something weird. Um, so I put this on like once a week and I only wear it for eight minutes So I always just set my phone timer because I'm like so scared of wearing it for too long And I really liked this. I think it's really great for just helping to kind of fade acne scars and all of that So I like to use this about once a week. So please 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 realize I don't use this every single night to rub it on in I don't want to do like a ton of it Make sure you get it on every part, but obviously not like in your eyes or anything and it does kind of burn for me for like, you know, 30 seconds and then it completely goes away. But if it's burning for you past that, I would just not wear it maybe because I would just, I don't know. I want to be careful. Feels good. I'm going to go ahead and set my phone timer. You can kind of see it just like makes your face like look red. All right, so my timer just went off on my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my face mask and then I'll show you guys what I do after. Okay, so I just rinsed that off and then next up in my routine is this little guy also from the brand The Ordinary. It's the niacinamide and 10% or niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% little serum thing. I just want to note that this and then my moisturizer I do even if I didn't do a face mask. So literally my nighttime routine is everything I'm doing minus the face mask because I don't do that every single day. Of course, like I said, I only do it once a week, but I always will use this no matter what. And I actually use this morning and night. It is probably my favorite product I have. I just feel like it helped me when my acne was really bad and just it's helped fade my scars and all of that good stuff. So and then I just kind of let that dry. It dries really quickly, actually. And then I do my moisturizer. For moisturizer, I use, probably not a big shocker, the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It's in this little bottle thing. I think they have it literally everywhere. But I really, really, really like this stuff. And Devin has been using this for so long. And I actually just more recently switched. I mean, it's still been quite a while. I used to use the Yes Two Tomatoes face lotion, which was really great. I used that when I had acne as well, but I think this is way better. I just, I don't know, I like never use CeraVe. Like I always heard of it and I was like, nah. Like I just kept buying like nicer moisturizers, but guys, this does the trick for me at least and I really like it and my skin in winter does get a lot more dry. It's a combo um, and so I like to really put this on at night. Um, like lather it on. Obviously I moisturize morning and night, but I put it more on at night. And I just put this all over my face. Obviously be gentle around your eyes. This eyebrow pimple is really killing my vibes. I'm trying to think why I have that, but I always want to like diagnose why I have a pimple. And it's like, Lily, you might have just gotten a pimple. Like it doesn't mean anything crazy, but that is my nighttime skincare routine. I've been doing that for a hot minute now and I really like it. It's fairly simple. Um, nothing is way too crazy expensive, which is really nice. I mean, some people use serums that are literally like $80 or whatever, and everything should be fairly inexpensive. So I'll try and link everything down below. I shouldn't have any issue doing that. Yeah. Skincare. Now that my skin is all clean, I'm going to go ahead and just 
probably crawl into bed, do some reading, maybe go on Pinterest, maybe do a little bit of work because I'm bad with that sometimes. But we got a few new books at the Amazon bookstore recently, which is honestly the coolest place ever. We have one in Austin and they give you prime prices on like books. It's crazy. So we just save like so much money when we go there, which is great. And I picked up this book about influence. It talks about the psychology of just like persuasion. I feel like that is so interesting just to like hear why we like choose certain things and like us humans like our little brains like what we're thinking i think it's so interesting just to hear like experiments and like all of that i really like that stuff and then this one is by angela duckworth it's called grit i put these on my stories and a lot of you guys really really like this book like i got a lot of dms about the book grit so hey i can link these down below if you guys want to i'm just linking i'm a linking machine in this video but apparently this is also pretty psychology based and it just talks about the power of passion and perseverance and stuff like that i think it's so fun i love a book that kind of just gets me a little motivated but i will say i don't think this is your stereotypical like motivational book at all because i know she brings in a lot of like science and studies she seems like a super smart lady um so yeah i'm gonna kind of just read through some of these and just Honestly, I'll probably read this one because I've been reading this before bed, but I'll probably do some reading and just kind of chill So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off the video right here But thank you so much for coming along on a little day of just my life and going to the warehouse and everything I'm so excited to like finally have a posting schedule So don't forget to subscribe turn on post notifications if you hit the little bell That'd be awesome mean the world to me because we're actually gonna be posting consistently don't wanna let you guys down for real. Like I'm gonna make videos for y'all and that makes me really excited. I can't wait just to spend more time on YouTube and just talk with you guys more and just read your comments and everything. It really is such a fun like little space. I, I love it. So get ready to see me Monday and Thursdays. That's crazy. That's so crazy to say. So yeah, this is going up on Thursday. So you guys have another video coming Monday. Um, All the videos will probably be primarily like just vlogs, like whether it's our weekend, like with friends or if it's like just work day warehouse updates or whatever but i do want to do maybe some like art videos where you guys draw with me and like make an instagram post with me and like just different stuff kind of like that so stay tuned for what we do i'm gonna have to probably get creative but i know you guys really like vlogs so we'll probably do quite a few just vlogs and anything so if you have any video ideas for me comment down below i'd love to hear what you're wanting to see but for now, that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my Fruit Loops and chill in bed. It was another good work day and I can't wait for tomorrow. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having the like greatest start ever to 2021. And I love you, we'll chat soon. Bye.